Hey guys! So if you've been watching Famous Entertainment, you know that I've been doing celebrity house tours since 2019. But since I live in Hamilton, Ontario, we actually have a celebrity living right here and he's invited us to tour his house in real time. This is like our little version of MTV Cribs. Hey Kara, how are you? TV Pat, thank you for having me. No problem. I'm sure you guys all know um, MTV Pat because he is the dad of Jesse of Nelk fame. Boys, I really can't say it enough how awesome it's been to have Jesse's dad Pat a part of the squad. For all the dumb we do, the partying, it's just really nice to have someone responsible. It's like a father figure. I'd, I'd really say a role model. Role model. I'd, I'd use that one. But today we're gonna be going inside his beautiful home and he's gonna be showing us all his cool stuff like the man cave and um, all the, there's so much Nelk memorabilia and stuff here too, so I'm excited. Well, come on in. Thank Let's you. Let's do it. See, this used to be uh, Jesse's domain, this whole basement. Oh yeah. Yeah, he used to be part of his domain. He had his bedroom back there, he's had his own bathroom, then he moved out. He had his nice little space down here. I'm sure people who watched him in the early days knew this this space. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. This is a lot of the uh, hard goods that they uh, sold, full scent, Nelk Boys, and all that stuff. It's my own private collection. I mean, a lot of the stuff is not even put in here. I still got some in boxes and stuff. Some of it never even got sold. So, what is your what is your favorite thing here out of all of this merch? Wow, my favorite. I love all their hard goods. Their hard goods I won't part with. I got clothing I will part with. I give away for free or whatever. But their hard goods are. The keepers, I, I love it. Either. Got skateboarding, got shot glasses, got got everything. Sandals, uh, everything. lighters. I got a heavy bag with some gloves. Yeah, I think any fan would uh, would kill to have all that stuff. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing some of these are limited edition, or like you could never get them again. Or I'm gonna say absolutely. A lot of this is uh, limited edition for sure. Even yeah. Cooler. Yeah, it's a one-time. <laughs> offer kind of call it as we know um jesse has moved on from nelk and he's on a new project which is the sunday project his sunday youtube channel and pat has appeared on that as well you want to tell me a bit about this section yeah this is all semi new it's a sunday sunday's the main channel then it's got a uh, shithole and uh bloody sunday also but this is just some of the merch he's, he's been working on over the years and he's got tubes he's got clothing he's got whatever and this is the newest thing he's uh brought that from cali is a uh, new basketball the sunday basketball yeah i remember that's his symbol the stars mm -hmm. yeah yeah i remember seeing that i definitely recognized it yeah i saw on instagram that you called jesse out and made a joke when he fell on all those basketballs that he was partying too hard yeah we kind of set that up for him i mean he no he's quit drinking now it's going on it'll be two years uh he's quit drinking that's in August, yeah. But on the same time, uh, that same night, all the guys went out drinking that night and got hammered. And Jesse <laughs> stayed home, went to sleep. Wow. Yeah, that's He's different. Committed. <laughs> He's committed. That's good. That's awesome. Well, Emma, if he wasn't drinking, I know that Jesse made a lot of videos down here, probably. So why uh, don't you show us his bedroom? This is his little workshop. Well, the bed used to be in there, the mattress, and then the rest of it. Well, I got a lot of in here right now, just merch stuff. But uh, yeah, this is his bedroom. He, he has his little, uh, he was getting into art. I don't know if you guys could see that, but uh, he did that, all that by hand. It was pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah, pretty sweet stuff. Yeah, so he painted that? Yeah, he painted that with a little brush. Oh, that's so yeah. cool. Oh, we got to show him this. Yeah. <laughs> this is the day Jesse got, a, Jesse got arrested. We even yeah. got that. <laughs> yeah, baby. That was a beauty. Yeah, I mean, for a young kid in his uh, teens, this is a pretty good space for him. I mean, he had a lot of fun in here. And this, uh, this is an article from our uh, Hamilton Spectator. This is when Jesse did his journey. He did a 100-day uh, tour around Canada. with a, I think he had like 100 bucks in his pocket. It, it's called uh, Saved by the Status. He uh, traveled from one end to another in 100 days. He hitchhiked. He uh, stayed at people's homes. They fed him. He, whatever. He came home with nothing, nothing. Wow. I don't really think he came home with the luggage because he had nothing to put in there. So I guess he was like pretty young when he did that because it was before Nelk. So oh yeah, yeah. did that like inspire him to do? Nelk? Oh yeah, yeah. You know what? Everything Jesse has done has inspired him to do what he has done today. Like literally, 
I mean, the guy is just a, he's just a go-getter. He, he wants everything. He's done everything. So tell me about this one. Oh, this, uh, this is, I've had this now for, I don't know, four years or so. One of the fans that uh, we had a huge meetup in Toronto and that was the first meetup I ever went with, uh, with the boys. They invited me to go with them. I was so surprised the amount of people that showed up to, uh, to meet the boys. So anyways, a fan gave me this to give to Jesse and uh, Kyle. I gave it to them, but they really didn't think much of it. So <laughs> I go, you know what, I'll keep it. it is but I love it. He's a young artist from Toronto. Can't remember his name, but uh, I mean, it's crazy. Kyle, Jesse, and uh, Nino. I remember when you first popped up on social media, Pat, just as like a dad supporting him at one of those events. Yeah, yeah, it was at the uh, Steam Whistle in Toronto. And you know what, I, I, it just blew me away. The, there was thousands, like thousands of people there. Thousands, it was just, it was like a cult. It was just amazing <laughs> to see live, like to yeah. see your son having that kind of fame. Yeah, so. that must have been really cool. Oh, it was very cool, very cool. So, Pat, why don't you show me some more of the house? Sure, let's go. Come on up. Okay. Lead the way. Okay. So now we are in the kitchen. So right in here. I just uh, recently did the kitchen, like last year. I mean, it's nothing fancy. It's pretty simple. I'm a pretty simple guy. I opened it up as much as I can. This nice. used to be a bedroom here. Okay. So I opened it up, like I said, opened this. This used to be all walls, doors, whatever. So this was all uh, a bedroom there? Yeah, yeah, it was a bed bedroom there so I opened up a patio doors going into my man cave awesome. I mean this whole house is a man cave oh yeah we're gonna see the man cave after in the backyard so we're saving that for later <laughs> come on through here I'll show you this is my living room this is where I spend most of my time watching TV when nice. I'm chilling out nothing fancy it is what it is uh there's a picture of my kids there yes I could my daughter that. Sarah Jesse and Jacob and uh, me we graduated wow. the same year wow. believe it or not <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so what year did you actually graduate in that picture? Uh, 1983. I what? wasn't even born yet. <laughs> yeah, 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 that was a long time ago. And what did you, uh, what did you do after you graduated? Uh, after I graduated, I, uh, I got into DeFasco, which is a factory in, Defa uh, in Hamilton, it's a steel yeah. company. And it was only gonna be temporary because I wanted to be a fireman. Okay. So. Uh, but you know what? I got in there. I got the. I like. I got to like the money. The money yeah. was good. The job was okay. Mm -hmm. And I ended up putting 35 and a half years in there. And wow. I retired. It's four years now. I've been gone. Been retired wow. from Defasco. I mean, it's given me everything I got today. This so is, is it. this where you? Is this where you entertain? I entertain outside or in my garage. You know what? I usually have the guys here, the boys here. You know, play poker, shoot the shit, drink. I used to smoke, but. Yeah. No, I don't. So when you're uh, unwinding, you watch TV, what do you watch? <laughs> I like uh, thrillers, uh, I like mafia shit, I like uh, all that kind of stuff. I like thrillers too. Yeah, thrillers are my go-to. So obviously this isn't the first house you've lived in in Hamilton, right? <laughs> no, I've lived all over Hamilton. I even lived in Mount Hope, Caledonia. I, this is like, I think my seventh house. Wow. So uh, I think, uh, you know what, I, I wouldn't mind moving again, but I just don't want to go through the bullshit of moving. No. But uh, no, this is this is all I need. I don't need much room. This is the true man cave. I got like <laughs> three man caves. I got the house, my back room, my garage. Yeah. I mean, I don't need anything else. It's a great setup. Yep. Okay, so we have uh, two more rooms to see in here. So first we're going to see the bathroom and we don't want to be nosy, but the master bedroom, maybe just a bit. <laughs> sure. Oh, the bathroom looks pretty cool. It has a retro vibe. Yeah, you know what? I, I haven't done much of the bathroom only because it's, uh, it's it's original tile and the original tub. It's pretty retro. I kind of like it, but I don't at the same time. But uh, I might change the tub one time, but uh, it's good enough for the way it is right now. Yeah, I like, I've always liked those. I don't know what they're called. The windows, the... Oh, the glass uh, block? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. like so... That is retro. We have some in our attic. Okay, so what year is the house made? Like, is I'm this gonna, original? Yeah, it is. The bathroom is anyway. Okay, I mean, yeah. I mean, the counter and the sink, the toilet's not original, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna say in the late 50s. Oh, wow. Around there. That's cool. Yeah. If this were if this were MTV Cribs, this is where we would say, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Come on <laughs> in. And the master bedroom. And this is the workshop. <laughs> It's out of commission right now. 
And I've been meaning to ask you, Pat, are you single? Uh, yes, I am, yeah. Well, this is for all the ladies watching. My audience is like, I think the main women who watch my channel, it's like women from 30 to 50, so who knows, your next girlfriend might be watching this very house tour. <laughs> there you go, welcome. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you the man cave. This awesome. is where the meat potatoes are. <laughs> awesome. Oh my God. I recognize this table. I recognize this table from when Jesse and Kyle were really blowing up. It's like famous. <laughs> That's funny you say that, because you know what, they've done some videos in, in this corner right here. They've done many videos. Wow. Yeah. And then also at the bar there, as you can see, I mean, they've done videos there. They've done videos all over the house, the backyard, not so much the garage, but uh, basically in here, we're in the backyard. What did you first think when they were making their videos here? Like your first uh, thoughts? You know, I, I've said it so many times. I mean, I thought it was cool what they were doing, but at the same time, I'd be telling Jesse, you know, buddy, go get a real job. <laughs> do this on the side, like do it when, they, when you come home from work. Yeah. But you know what? Kudos, man. Those I guys killed it. it. 100%. They made magic happen. They did. Pat, were you paying for the Bud Lights and the Coronas during the early years? Uh, I'm gonna say I probably pitched in a good contribution to that. <laughs> and then, you know, they started making money, then they started contributing themselves. Yeah. It's only fair, right? <laughs> Speaking of beer, you want a beer? Sure. I will have one. Let's have a beer. It's a nice hot day, beautiful day. So cool. At the Full Send Bar. I'm sure many people are jealous right now. <laughs> Who built this? Did you build it? I built it right from scratch. I dug the hole here, poured the concrete. I had a buddy of mine help me though. And then I built this whole thing. That's this amazing. The shack. I love it. Yeah, I love this uh, little shack of mine. I love it. It reminds me of yeah. a... Thing. Actually, Jesse had bought me this, eh? Really? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Do fans ask you to come drink here? Oh, all the time. When I used to post uh, videos in here, yeah, they uh, they would say, hey, let me come down for a beer, let me come down for a beer, but I've never responded. I mean, no, re I mean, all respect. I mean, whatever, I can't do that. No, it's yeah. your, it's your home. It's, it's my your home. sanctuary. Yeah, that's right. I think too many people would start showing up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'd just be, it'd probably be crazy. Yeah, but. Is that a real fish? Yeah, it is actually. Did you catch it? No, you know what? I could lie and say, yeah, but you know what? <laughs> Actually, the the couple that lived here before me, mm -hmm. he caught it wow. back in uh, 1977. So it's an it's an antique fish. Sure. He, yeah. 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 Yeah, he caught it. it. So I, I, that was one of the things when I bought the house, I go, you know what? They had that in the basement though, eh? Yeah. So uh, it was one of the things I wanted to keep. So I go, if you guys don't want that, I'll keep that for sure. Not that I'm a fisherman, but I just it's it looks cool. cool. It's cool. I would keep it too. Do you have any of those flip flops? I should give a pair to Michael because my dog ate his. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I might have a couple in the basement. I'll I'll look uh I'll look uh this week or today or tomorrow, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You have a lot of cool stuff here. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I love this shit. I mean, these neon lights too. They're they're just yeah. Where'd beautiful. you get those? They, they used to just ship me everything. They used to ship me yeah. whatever whatever they were selling. They would, they would ship it to me. Really cool. Because I'd make little uh, yeah. little videos, you know, promote them. That's awesome. Yeah. I love it. So is this an extension or is it like insulated in here? Oh, it's definitely an ex extension. It's, it's pretty well fully insulated except for the ceiling. I'm gonna probably do that maybe this winter or whatever. And I got my, cool. I love this sink, this unit here, my wood stove. Yeah. I eat this up, man. It's it's warmer here than it is in the house. I can't. Well, it's because I'm cheap, eh? Because I don't like putting the furnace on. <laughs> and I know this isn't your only man cave, so why don't you show me the garage? Yeah, for sure. Let's go on out. You know, before I show you the garage, I'm gonna save the best for last. I'll show you my backyard. Awesome. It's not a huge backyard, but it's it's usable. Got myself a fire pit. It's perfect. I think it's I think it's big back here. Did you, did you customize that shed? Yeah, there's a bit of a story behind that. A friend of mine, she had a shed in her backyard and a big tree fell on it. Just caved the whole thing in, the roof and everything. So I decided to MacGyver it and built it, rebuild it. So I put it, I framed it all inside. I put a whole new roof on it. Wow. And I kind of like the way it turned out. It's got resin with wood and yeah. it just a mix of everything. It looks super cool. Yeah, it's got all my tools I've used over the years. Yeah, it sounds like you did a ton of handiwork here yeah. on your house. <laughs> I like puttering around. Yeah, well, it looks good. 
I like the swing too. Swing bar. Yep, yep, that's my swing bar. That's cool. Yep. I think I invented that. <laughs> yeah, I love it. While we wait on MTV Pat, I can't believe this car. Is this the car that Jesse got you? Yeah, he it's got me crazy. this uh, two, three years ago. I love this thing, man. It's my baby. Well, my other, that's my baby. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is my second born. Was this uh, like a car you really wanted? Like yeah. you would you would choose that over a Mustang, right? <laughs> <laughs> a Mustang? <laughs> what am I gonna do with that? Uh, we used to have one, but Sorry. I think... Uh... <laughs> that's sad. I know. All jokes aside, yeah, I love this thing, man. Jesse had it all wrapped in satin black. It's amazing. Uh, it's it's fully loaded. It's 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 it's, it's just, I love it. It's beautiful. How'd you get it uh, to Canada from uh, California? Yeah, that was a bit of an ordeal. They took it off the truck uh, at least three times because in, insufficient paperwork, just just bullshit like that. So I mean, it took a while. It took like over a month to ship. Yeah. So, uh, but it's here. Yes, now it's yeah. here. Yeah, it's here. I drive it. I only drive in the summer though. Did it come with the with the decals or did you put those on yourself? No, I put the uh, full sun decals on myself and then I got it on the back window also. That's nice. Yeah. I just thought it added some nice touch to it. Well, it's very cool. Thank you. So this is this is the new baby, but this is your original baby, right? <laughs> this is my original baby. This is my 72 Cutlass Supreme convertible with a 350 rocket. This thing's a, this it's a so beauty. Cool. This yes, paint job is. is like 20 years old and it's still beautiful. It looks so nice. I love the color. Yeah. There's a little story to this car, actually. I, I bought this car. I I was paying child support. I mean, not to put a negative in this whole story, but mm -hmm. I paid 16 years of child support and that was all done. This is what I buy myself. On my last payment, I went out and bought a car. Actually, I bought it off a friend of mine and uh, I've had it since. So this is my gift to myself. It's a great gift. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, I got my other man cave. This is it. This is awesome. I've added on like two different uh, additions to this garage. It used to be a single car garage. Now, now I huge. can fit uh, a couple cars in here. I, I got workbenches here and there. I got my wood stove. I got, I don't know, buddy. It's it just like a, it's, it's a man's rec room. That's what it is. It's a man cave. Again, I can't say <laughs> no more. I love it. No, I love it. And you even have all the flags up Yeah, there. I got the old uh, cool. posters up there. Yeah. yeah. How many hours a day do you spend out here and what do you do out here? Well, to be honest, when I was smoking, I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd be in here all day long. Smoking in the ground. Oh yeah, hacking butts, <laughs> having a beer, and buddies would come over, whatever, shoot the shit. Makes and, sense. Yeah, have a coffee or beer, whatever. But not as much, I mean, still hang here, but it, it's not as fun when you're not smoking. Yeah, and it's, you quit. So. And I quit. Yeah, it's going on eight months. That's awesome. So it's time to go back to it, eh? <laughs> so I can see, you said you did a couple extensions on the garage. What did you do them for? Just to get more space. I mean, you can never have a, a garage can never be big enough. This one here I did originally the first couple of years I lived here. I bumped it out the back and bumped it out the side. And then last year, I bumped it out this way. Just to give me that more, it was just, I got I have space back there, so just to use it up. Yeah, it must have been a lot smaller, but it looks, yeah. looks great now. Yeah, yeah, I like it. And you have your other fireplace here, so you won't be cold. No, no, got my wood stove. I got some, uh, this is some uh, stuff I rigged up during uh, COVID, do my uh, tricep extensions. This thing's beautiful. It's a good invention. Oh yeah, it's like <laughs> caveman workout. I love it. Yep, it's good, you can do some chin-ups, whatever. It's awesome. Yeah. I like this uh, hammer for the hammer. Yeah, you know what? I'm just uh, a Ham good old Hamilton boy. The hammer represents Hamilton. The maple leaf represents Canada, Hamilton, Ontario, whatever you want to call it. So you know what? I'm all about it. I love it here. Well, Michael and I love it here too. So we're glad that, thank you for having us. And we like making videos together. It's cool that we have another YouTuber in Hamilton. Yeah, yeah, it's been a slice. I loved it. It was great. Thanks for having Welcome me. Welcome to Hamilton too. Thank you. Okay guys, you don't have to go, but you gotta get the fuck out of here. Peace out.
We told him to say that. <laughs> Perfect. 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 <laughs>